Today's video is a pretty simple premise. We are just going to be building one factory and then setting up some infrastructure for vehicular transport. I have plans for a coal node right there. There's a coal node here-ish that I'm going to use for fuel for all of my vehicles and whatnot. Of course, that will change later on once I get oil and I can use straight up fuel containers. But as of now, it will remain just using coal. But then again, first we still have to get a modular frames factory. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go probably lay out a quick plan because my next factory, I'm planning on having multiple floors. It's gonna be like an actual cube and it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna go back into MS Paint and see if I can plan a few layers of a factory. This is gonna be 10 by 10 foundations, mostly just because I need that much. I don't know how much iron I'm gonna have, but I'm hoping for four nodes, which should all hopefully be pure, and that should then get me 480 iron per minute. I mean, it's a lot to hope for, but I kind of... I, <laughs> I, need, I need a lot. So, first thing we need is we need 16 uh, smelters. So what I think is the best thing to do is a similar thing to what we did in the Rotor J, where we have them lined up this way. Although it might be better to have four separated sections of four, because then I can take each one of these to a specific section and plug them in where they need to go. So let me see if I can figure out a configuration. Here is the basic idea for floor one. It's, it's a little, it looks a little strange. I will admit that is the case. All of these constructors are making plates, so each of them just needs one constructor to operate. All of these miners are going to these many smelters. These seven will just go straight up because they will produce 210 iron per minute, which will fuel the 14 constructors we need for rods. And then the rest of them all go to the nine constructors for plates. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try and build this. And then once I'm done with that, I'll go design the second floor with the knowledge of how well the first floor went in mind. Of course, I will also have to look for this many nodes because I don't know that there were that many near where I want to build. But we'll, we'll get to that. Over there by the rotor J, right here, there are two iron nodes, and over here somewhere there is one iron node. All of them are pure. There's another one over here that's pure, but I, there, I can't get to it as of now. The one over here and the one over here both have a rock on top of them, so I need to do some man research before I can actually do that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and build the first floor and see how that goes, and I'll come back once I'm done with that. Uh, alright, so that was considerably easier than I expected it to be. Uh, somehow I, d I did not realize just how big 10 foundations by 10 foundations really is, but, um, yeah, it's, it's really big. <laughs> I have finished this entire floor with lots of space left over. I'm not sure how I want to do this, because I don't think I'll be able to fit 14 more constructors in this space, even though it is quite a large space. I think I'm just going to move on to the next floor. On this floor, I want to have the constructors for rods. I do need 14 constructors up here, but I might also be able to fit the constructors for screws. I need 9 constructors for screws. 2 constructors for rods will power 3 of these, if I'm not mistaken. This is obviously not to scale because I can't draw, <laughs> but the basic idea is that these four will carry this way, and then these three will carry that way. So this should be it, essentially. These seven come up here and go to all of these constructors. Over here we have eight, and over here we have six, which adds up to 14, and then they split off as they need to. 
these constructors are making rods. They make 15 per minute, they merge here to make 30, and then they split into these to make 10, 10, and 10. And then this just goes straight up to the next level. I'm gonna go go build my second foundation and then see about making this. So, second floor foundation is complete, and I have plans for the remaining foundations. However many of those I actually end up needing to use. But for now, I'm just gonna build the stuff I set out in the plan. As I continue to underestimate the amount of space I have, I, uh, once again changed plans a little bit, so instead of all going straight down the middle and then splitting off as needed, it instead just curves here to go straight to these, and curves there to go straight to those. That is the second floor done. No, I am not going to utilize this extra space. Instead, we are going to go design the next floor. Once again, big ol' square. The first thing I need to do in this little corner, this is where my screws and plates are coming from. Nine things of each, which is slightly inconvenient because I need six constructors or six assemblers for reinforced iron plates, so I gotta figure out what to do with those. Um, that's probably gonna be really complicated, so I'm just gonna have this whole area for figuring out how to combine these into the the lines that I need. And then here, ish, I will have my uh, assemblers. First, I'm just going to go look at this and see what I can do about uh, making these work. So, so you see that uh, that little mess up in the corner? It's actually pretty accurate, to say the very least. This is a mess. It wasn't actually that hard to figure out how to split them. So I would take that one, and it would go that way. And then this one went there. And then that one went here. And then I split them into two parts. Because each of those is 20. And if you combine them, they make 60. And then you split them, and they make 30. Which is how much this thing needs. And then you can do exactly the same thing with the screws. So now with this in mind, knowing I only have about 32 meters on these sides, I am going to see about figuring what I can do with the rest of this level. I don't think I can do much, but I might be able to do something. So now all of this is covered, and I have to worry about what I can do with the rest of this. This is about as much space as I have. Currently, I have everything taken care of, except I need 20 assemblers for the frames. I'm kind of wondering how I'm actually going to do that. Each one of these produces 5 per minute. So right here, this is 15. Each modular frame assembler takes 3 reinforced iron plates per minute. I would need to be able to combine these all into 15 and then break them into 5, which you can't actually do. Would that even work, actually? Because if I took these 3 and put them to 5, that would be 10 total, which is not enough. Maybe I got some numbers wrong. Yeah, I got some numbers wrong. I'm an idiot, and I thought that modular frames are 1 per minute, but they're actually 2 per minute. So I only need 10 assemblers for this. You know, I think the best way to do it, and it's going to be a sucky way to do it, but I think the best way to do them is literally just to have them cascade. So I could stack these up going up that way, and then stack these up going this way, and then cascade them to their five and their five, and have the rods doing whatever. Yeah, I think, I think that's the best way to do it. So I'm just going to combine them going this way and up that way. Should be pretty easy so that is this one done and then it's got a big old rods thing going up that way so that is this floor complete on to the next one all right floor four same shape over here we have some reinforced plates and over here we have some reinforced plates both of these are 15 and this is 120 rods each assembler needs 12 so that does go to 10. What I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to split it this way and then 
combine them all here because that would be 60 rods and then do the same thing down here 60 rods per minute so we'll have assemblers five of them going this way and five of them over here so these ones both of them will cascade downward through here so it'll go essentially to each of these and then this will do the same and then they'll each go into their respective assemblers and then exactly the same thing for this one but i don't feel like drawing that so that is floor four completed yeah on my way to get more plates because i keep running out i may as well explain my idea for the design of the factory you can actually just look at it here i'm gonna basically build a giant one of these so you can have this really big one at all the corners then all the horizontals are smaller i'm gonna have to try and figure out how to make it work but basically i'm just gonna have a giant modular frame that's making all my modular frames it's gonna be really cool so that is this little section done uh, it wasn't actually that difficult i just had all of them really cascade down uh, okay it's not super complicated i also went ahead and colored everything in the closest i could get to a silvery metallic with no silvery metallic colors <laughs> it's meant to be a metallic-y kind of color because modular frames are metallic and that's <laughs> that's it uh it's very it's a very simple process i'm a very simple person i'm gonna color the rest of this however long that ends up taking and then i'm gonna go ahead and route power so i jumped ahead a little bit i hope you don't mind but i have got everything connected to power and as you can see there we do have very few modular frames being produced the issues as they stand currently for one, with this cascading system, which is quite actually just about the best we could do, the last few won't really be producing anything much at all. Uh, problem number two, even though we are producing modular frames, we're not producing that many because, like I said earlier in the video, we don't have all of our miners set up because we can't actually use that one or the other one that's over there by the rotor J because they have rocks on them that you need to explode and I haven't done the man research necessary for uh, sulfur or novelisks but now that this factory is for the moment finished first I'm going to come down here so we can get a good look at it that's that's a pretty cool looking factory if I do say so myself I, I actually really like that honestly this may just be the coolest factory I've ever made. With that finished, we can move on to the second goal. Although first, I am just going to let this run overnight so I can build up some uh, modular frames. Even though we aren't producing as many as I wanted to, we are still producing 10 per minute. In my old satisfactory save that you have seen some footage of, but not much, I think I had two things where I was making modular frames. I think it was maybe three assemblers max. And now I have ten assemblers. I'll be back in a little bit to start working on some vehicle stuff. Vehicular transport is complete. So first order of business is to go find my excess coal node over here and get that set up making and transporting coal to all of the other stations. All right, I think I've got all the docking stations set up. So this will go around all the factories I have currently. Right here, there's a docking station for putting coal in and then a docking station for the rotor one. And then there's the same thing over here. There's a docking station here for the rotors and the modular frames. I do need to put a second one in there. All I have to do now is go record the route that the coal truck will be taking and then once it has coal to all the factories, at that point I can do the other routes but first I'll just record this one.
Alright, apparently it only required 76 coal per trip. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna come back here, let it go. So that should go ahead and take the coal from here, and then go put it at every other truck station for every other factory that needs the coal for the tractors. Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah, so that should take care of all the coal. Nine per minute, that's 18 for two, which means we should be good for all of our trucks, actually. All right. Let's just see what it does, I guess. Gotta turn on autopilot. I don't know. Okay, go. We will let those two do their thing. Once they've been moving for a little while, they should cover everything. And then once all the docking stations are full, I will go ahead and record the other truck routes to carry the modular frames and the rotors everywhere. Of course, first thing, I do need to come over here and put in another truck station. One for the other item. And then I believe I do need to expand on this. Either that or just grab something from the um, copper factory and take it straight down. I am not sure how exactly I want to go about that yet. This one will be for rotors. It turns out that a second truck is actually not needed at all because by the time the first truck gets back here it hasn't even filled up like like this much so i just went and got rid of that second truck once this is zero that means that all of the other truck stations have filled up and this one is full and is no longer transferring anything so just need to wait for this to be zero items per minute so as you can see the uh, docking station is no longer moving anything, which means that all of the other docking stations way out here, these are now all full of coal. So now I just have to set up the other routes, the one for rotors and the one for modular frames. So as you can see, I have completed the routes for rotors and modular frames. These are full and making their way down to the bottom. I already set them up to go to the two storage boxes next to the reinforced iron plates. Eventually, somewhat soonish actually, but eventually, I'm gonna get uh, signs so I can put stuff up there to make, uh, make it a little bit easier to tell what's in what, but that will come next episode because next episode I'm doing a bunch of MAM research, a bunch of factories and alien killing and alien finding and alien plant killing kinda essentially just gonna do a bunch of man research and get all that mostly out of the way as much as i can because i really just want to have stuff i like i want the explorer i want to try out the new zip line because i didn't like it before it was really slow but now they've made it fast so i have a reason to use it and the jetpack. Although the jetpack is a much later thing that comes with oil too, so... Anyway, mostly, I just, I want the explorer, and I want signs. And I want bombs. And that's, that's all I need. But everything for this episode is now complete. I do believe we set out to build a giant factory. One of the coolest factories I have yet created. And we set out to do vehicle routes, which we have done, obviously. Anyway, yes, that is all of the goals for today completed. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. And I will see you later with a bunch of research in the next episode of Satis Factor. E satis for